Hey Fayette County, Georgia homeowners, it's Daphne Bousquet with eXp Realty and I have your July 2023 real estate market update. Hold on to your hats because this month is not pretty. Let's dive in. We had 154 homes come on the market this July and that was 24% less than in June and 26% less than in July of last year. Now that's not very surprising because this just reiterates the shortage of available homes on the market. With 82% of homeowners having a mortgage rate below 5% and 62% having a mortgage rate below 4%, according to Redfin, there is very little enthusiasm to trade those rates in for a rate in the high sixes or even 7%. We had 148 homes go under contract and that was up 4% over last month, good news, but down 8.6% over last year. Now for the actual sales numbers. Only 131 homes sold and that was down 13.2% over June and down 24.7% over July of last year. The average sales price was $540,094, $45,000 or 7.6% down from June and down 1.7% over last year. The median sales price is $482,000 and that was down a whopping 16.2% over June and down 1.6% over last year. Now, this is actually the first time in a few years that we have seen the average and median sales price go down year over year. The big question is, is this cause for concern? Does this mean that the housing market in Fayette County is on the decline? Could it even crash? Now, let's take a look at this chart, which plots the average home prices from 2021 through now. And you can see that home values are still well above 2021 values and that the line never goes straight up. It goes up, it goes down, but so far has had an overall rising line. And I do not think it is the time to sound the alarm just yet. It is important to keep an eye on inventory, market time, and see if this sharp decrease is a trend or just a blip. So far, available inventory or houses actively on the market is still very low and about half of what we had in 2019. The average market time last month was still only 20 days and that was less than we've seen all year long. In addition, I'm working with several willing and able buyers who can't find the home they're looking for. I also have colleagues who are looking for homes for their buyers and can't find them. To me, that indicates that the market is hanging in there. Now, of course, I don't have a crystal ball and who knows what the Fed is going to do next, but I will keep you posted on our local real estate market. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my market updates. I'll see you next time.